everyone i am dr shivanila today's topic is ards adult respiratory distress syndrome or shock lung syndrome adult respiratory distress syndrome is also called as shock lung syndrome diffuse alveolar damage acute alveolar injury traumatic wet lungs and post traumatic respiratory insufficiency it is a syndrome caused by diffuse alveolar capillary damage and clinically characterized by sudden and severe respiratory distress tachypnea tachycardia cyanosis and severe hypoxemia that fails to respond to oxygen therapy and assisted ventilation etiology radiation aspiration pneumonitis drugs example salicylates colchicine infections especially diffuse pulmonary infection chiefly viral pneumonia fat embolism toxicity example smoke war gases nitrogen dioxide metal fumes etc inflammation oxygen toxicity narcotic overdose shock due to sepsis trauma burns pathogenesis basic initiating event is diffuse damage to the alveol alveolo capillary wall by one of the etiological agent the mechanism of injury may be by oxygen derived free radicals by intravascular aggregation of neutrophils or by liberation of mediators of inflammation injury to the capillary endothelium leads to increased vascular permeability injury to epithelial cells especially to type 1 alveolar cells cause the necrosis net effect of injury to capillary endothelium and alveolar epithelium is interstitial and intraalveolar edema congestion fibrin deposition and formation of hyaline membrane consequently the surfactant is lost causing collapse with pulmonary edema called stiff lung alveolar cell attempt to regenerate by proliferation of type 2 alveolar cells a stiff lung may recover completely or organized by proliferation of interstitial cells resulting in interstitial fibrosis or even death pathology gross appearance lungs are characteristically stiff congested and heavy microscopic examination interstitial and intraalveolar edema necrosis of alveolar epithelial cells with formation of hyaline membranes hyaline membrane is chiefly composed of fibrin admixed with necrotic epithelial cells congestion and intraalveolar hemorrhages changes of bronchopneumonia interstitial fibrosis and regenerating flat alveolar epithelial cells lining the denuded alveoli in organizing stage thank you everyone hope you all like the video please like share and subscribe